all right all right welcome back everyone to another awesome gameplay yo in this one we're gonna go over the new update and the new death stashes we're gonna see if they are an improvement from the past or if the new looting mechanic sucks all right so if you're into that stick around <laughs> All right, all right, Jaguar clan. Let's do this. Where are we going? Firing range? All right, let's do it, my boys. Yo, if you're new around here, make sure to hit that sub, dude. We do this on a regular. And of course, if you're already part of the family, part of the nation, make sure to hit that like, baby, and comment down below. All right, my boys. Let's get into the firing range, into the gameplay, and show you the new update, which is basically the death stashes that's all i've seen that's been introduced at least in blackout now i don't know if in the patch notes they did like silent nerfs or silent buffs i don't know about that all i know is death stashes so let's check that out if there's something else is new you let me know in the comments all right but first things first we gotta get our guns and we gotta find that first blood Mm, we saw that level 3, but I already have one on deck. Alright, I hear that shooting. Let's go. This is our cue to check out the new death stash. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's find this this person first. Let's find this enemy first. This enemy guy. Uh-huh. Uh, right there. Brrrah. Click, click. Enemy down. Alright, make sure that no one's around. You could. This is how I usually die. Alright, look. This is the new stash. One of the things that I do like about it is that it's fluid, right? It's quicker. You hover over the item and you pick it up. One of the things I don't like, however, is previously, remember when that whole road, you will get the ammo and it automatically would jump to the new ammo. Oh, here's some footsteps. But now, as soon as you pick up your ammo and there's no more ammo, you have to scroll to the other ammo you want. It's not like before where you used to, all right, let me let me get the seven point set, whatever, take it in and automatically jump. Look, I'm going to show you something else that I didn't like because I thought that with this update, the death stashes was going to look more like a PC, like how the PC players have it. But look, let me look for another one and show you exactly what I mean. All right, I'm going to use the clip from one of the streamers that I like watching, Shroud, look. Let me heal up real fast. Make sure there's no one around me. But this is Shroud in PC. All right, look. I slowed it down. He sees everything that there is in the death stash, and he picks it, right? And you can see it going towards his personal inventory. His weapon is to the right. So if he needs any attachments, he could see that very clearly. I like the way they, they have it here in PC. Of course, we don't have a mouse. So I get his... Harder for us or for, for the developers to create a, a better interface for console players. But this is what we have. And I thought it was going to be like PC, but it's nothing like it. I like the interface. that I like this interface, right? This is all right. You have to go through every particular thing and pick up. You don't see your weapon. You don't see, like I said, your weapon, like your ammo. You have to click on each particular one if you want it. Look, this is me looking at my weapons, forgetting which attachments I have and don't have. I wish it was like PC where you could see your weapon and the loadout to see exactly what you're missing. It's just quicker, but it doesn't work out that way. Not yet. Look, let's let's move on and tell you the other thing that I don't like about this update. All right, let's heal up real fast. Okay. Alright, let's okay. Yes, give me all the stash, all that all the ammo, all the attachments that I think. Look, I'm looking at my screen to see exactly what I'm missing, what I need. I don't like that, dude. If I'm gonna get loot, it should already tell me right here in this interface. They need to do it. Look, this is an old gameplay of mine. Look, I killed this dude, right? This is one of the things that I thought 
or that should be implemented in this new update, but it wasn't. It has to deal with the armor plates. Like previously, right? When you this is the old format, this is the old style. You would easily press cross up. You would press your crosshairs, right? You would press the cross up, and you could go to the armor plate and repair your armor. Now today, when you are in the new interface, get them, get them, get them, get them. When you're in the new interface, and you have the all the 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 loo whatever's, you can't press cross up and repair your armor. You have to look away. Stand up, look away, or some other stuff. I don't like that, dude. As a blackout solo player, one of the most... How can I say this? One of the most at-risk moments, or one of the most vulnerable, vulnerable moments when you're playing is when you're looting for stash. That is one of the most vulnerable moments that you have. And if you have to look around to repair your armor, look, this is exactly what I mean. Look, I want to be able to go into the armor plates right there and push a button to repair my armor, not look away. Because if I'm in this screen right here, I can't press the crosshair up to go to my armor plates and repair it. Like I said, I have to look away. So they did good by making this interface, right? It's more fluid. You're not getting bugged like before. Before you would get hella buggy, you would try to scroll to your right or to your left and it would bug. Or you would drop something and you would have to move closer to the bag. So in some ways they've improved it and in others they've gone backwards. And I'm like, word? Like, you guys didn't have time to test it? Like, what's going on? I mean, I'm sure they're going to fix it, right? I know they're going to fix it, but whatever's, dude. You know what I mean? Um, but look, this is me. You guys saw that I used the sensor beam earlier, right? Since I'm not using a vehicle, an ATV, I decided to get rid of it. And I saw someone. Luckily, someone was coming towards this way and they got caught up in my sensor beam and I managed to spot that dude. So this is me, creepy, 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 waiting for that dude to come out. Because he's going to have to come towards me. If you don't need to expose yourself and put yourself at risk, don't do it. Let them come to you. You see these people fighting over there. He killed that dude. So don't, I'm waiting for him to go loot so I could then try to kill him. And I almost get his ass. Look. Check it out. Bah, 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 bah. Completely destroy his armor. That other dude is shooting at him. So I'm like, all right, let me be more strategic. Let me get behind the wall, right? And wait for this man to come. And if he tries to take shots at me, he's still going to lose. He's in the storm. He's going to be in the storm. I could kind of dock and weave behind this wall, whatever. A little bah, 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 bah. potato aim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chuck that cluster, homie. Get him out of his comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Click, clack, pow. Enemy down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him a couple more. There you go. Now rush him. He's wounded and scared and frightened and brack. Done. Here, let's look at the mechanic one again. All right, there it is. You see? Looting. If you want to go to the next page, you just press R1 because. Yeah, just press R1 and you go to the next page. That's usually where all the ammo is. This is me trying to get this dude. So, yeah, man, it's not too bad. I mean, it could be better. That's what I'm going to say. The death stashes looting mechanic could be better, bro. And it should be better. All right, enemy down. Repair my armor. This one was has some good accuracy. Look, repairing armor. Like I said, with the new interface, the new looting mechanic, you can't do that. Press up and go to the armor plates and repair. Uh, uh, you have to back out, and that's something I don't like. I don't know why this dude didn't take <laughs> didn't take his shots earlier, but thank you, sir. 
Uh, we don't go in a sick ass kill streak in this one. We just get like eight or nine kills, but that's all we need, dude, to show you this looting mechanic. All right, it's not that bad, like I said, but it could be way better. You already saw how it is in PC, my brothers. That's where we need to be at. Not just right that little three bar, th three row. Uh-uh. But this is going to be it. This is the end. My lonely friend, the end. Yeah, yeah. All right, there's three people left. I think I get one kill, two kills. Oh, wait, I see this dude. Uh -uh. Oh, I was behind a tree when he when he shot me. What's what's the deal? Yeah, get him out of his comfort zone. Oh, that fool took my kill. No, no, not yet. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get him, get him, dude. Yeah, the sensor beam. Oh, uh, okay. He so I only get eight kills, but no worries. Like I said, we'll be back tomorrow to post more gameplay. Kobe! Just spam all this shit. Who cares, bro? Spam your resources. This is what it's for. All right, there it is. It's over. It's over. Me, look at me just being a, a bully. <laughs> all right, my boys. That's been the update. That's been the gameplay. Eh? All right, all right, all right, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the gameplay, please press the like button. It's free and virtually painless. Also, if you like, and only if you like the content, please consider subscribing. We do this on a regular. And lastly, if you didn't like, I'll get you on the next one. But until then, I'm out. Peace. See ya. And bye. Adios, amigos.